This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. I'm with Greg Luce and Pioneer. And Greg, what's your title at Pioneer? Uh, technology Product Manager for uh, Southern Iowa and Missouri. Okay, today we were talking about nitrogen utilization and fertilizer prices are one thing that's a real hot button with farmers and they saw a lot of nitrogen lost last year during the wet season. But you guys are doing something different on the nitrogen front. Can you explain that a little bit? Sure. Um, we uh, are evaluating how hybrids can perform under low nitrogen uh, situations as well as under normal nitrogen situations. So we're really testing to see if there are some native differences within corn and we're looking at uh, some transgenic events to see if we can identify uh, some mechanisms within the plant that could make it utilize nitrogen more efficiently. So it doesn't really replace nitrogen, is that right? Right, and uh, what we would uh, well, let me back up. I guess there's a lot of research that we've done over the years testing hybrids uh, under various rates of nitrogen. And we found that the optimum rate of nitrogen is very similar across hybrids that are of a similar uh, maturity. But what we're doing is we're uh, evaluating corn hybrids under blocks where we've depleted the nitrogen greatly and really testing them in that low nitrogen uh, environment to see if there are some differences and uh, again we've got some transgenic events that uh, we've got some ideas that uh, there are certain mechanisms in the plant that they could be uh, benefiting and uh, producing better in the presence uh, or the lack of nitrogen and this uh, research is uh, ongoing and uh, it's not something we're going to have tomorrow you know we're looking at this maybe being by the end of the decade before um, we have products, but we've got some promising uh, things going on and a lot of effort around it. One thing you said that surprised me is that there's some uh, correlation between drought tolerance and nitrogen possibly, and nitrogen utilization. Uh, why would that be? Well, what I was referring to is the fact that uh, nitrogen moves with water in the soil. And uh, if you have lack of water, if you've got a drought situation, what the corn plant expresses is nitrogen deficiency. It fires up from the bottom and the lower leaves get yellow and brown and um, that's basically nitrogen deficiency. So there could be a link between uh, some very stress tolerant, uh, drought tolerant products and those that could utilize nitrogen better. Um, I'm not saying that uh, that's a, a hundred percent but there is a, uh, a connection between that because of the way that nitrogen does move with water. So lack of water, lack of nitrogen. All right. Thanks a lot, Greg. You bet. Thank you.